Hey, I want to talk to you about subliminal messages of disbelief. You know, as it relates to subliminal messages, those are things that happen kind of like you don't know. It's unseen. It's seen, but unseen. It's seen, but it's like it's coded or, you know, it's a secret message or it's a um, internal way of masking or trying to mask, you know, what you really feel subliminal. And a lot of times those are the things that prevent us from being and becoming who we want to become. And the thing is, I believe that sometimes we really don't even know it. We don't even realize it. Yet we continue with that same train of thought, with that same process. And in the back of our minds, we're probably doing a little bit of battling with ourselves about what is the truth about the instance that's right before our very eyes so when you say things like i'll see i'll try what does that really mean you're not confident you're not being assured you're not willing to commit but you're making the other person believe that you're going to make the effort to do whatever or say whatever or be whatever And I think it's so unfair. It's definitely unfair to the other person, but it's really unfair to you because you're tormenting yourself with who you should be and using a masquerade or a mask or a filter to not say what you really feel. And there are lots of other words and things to your actions. You know, they say that when you're speaking to someone and your feet are not facing the person directly, It's an indication of where your thoughts are. So if I'm speaking to you, but my feet are facing this direction, I'm really ready to go. And think about it. Think of how many times that has happened, regardless whether it was because you were upset with someone or you didn't like something about someone's appearance, even if their breath smelled or something like that. The bottom line is your feet tell you where your focus is. I want you to observe that within yourself the next time that you're uh, around people. And I don't mean just because of the pandemic. Just watch your own body language. You know, those are also subliminal messages. And let's look at a couple of things. I'm not sure right now. Why is it that you can't be sure about something that you probably, in most cases, have full knowledge about? You don't want to make a decision. Another subliminal message. You should be sure about anything, especially if you are an adult. You know, you should be able to make up your mind unless it deals with finances or your time or a combination of both, because then it's understandable that, you know, you may be challenging. It may be difficult to either make that commitment or complete that task. I'll get back to you. Again, same thing. So all of those things are things that we uh, find ourselves in positions that kind of like are really uncomfortable and we don't know how to address it directly. Now, I know everyone is not a direct person. Some people are very indirect, non-confrontational, and that's fine. However, again, when you are an adult and if you are a leader, if you are a mom, a dad, whatever the case may be, you have to force yourself or challenge yourself Because there are people watching you. I'm talking about your children, your grandchildren, maybe your nieces and your nephews, Uh, maybe people that are also adults, but they're following your lead because you've been at the job much longer than them. So let's look at the subliminal messages that we send and that we release, because it can make a big impact, not only to ourselves, but to other people. And let me just read them off to you again so that you get an idea of what to look for within yourself. I'll try. I'll see. Uh, I'll call you with a question mark at the end of it, right? I'm not sure right now. I'll get back to you. I should be able to, right? And then it depends. Those are all verbal comments that are indicators of subliminal messages to disbelief. Now, if you've gotten any value from this, please, by all means, subscribe. You know, I want you to like my channel, share it with other people, and please leave your comments. We're trying to really build up the channel, so I definitely would appreciate the subscription or at least a like. 
You have a great day. And as I always say, you got to radiate the brain and change the game. Yeah.